I, T, V. Little I, little T, little V. It stands for instructional television, the species. Television that instructs. But this ITV, it stands for instructional television services. Instructional television services is an organization at Michigan State University that makes television that teaches. A species, an organization. There are these and more that ITV can be. A lecture, a lecture. At college you get a lecture. Lecture in the classroom, lecture on the tube. Why do you think some kids sit around reading book after book after book? Why do you think some people use obscene language at parties or whenever they're around other people? Why do you think some people smoke cigarette after cigarette, pack after pack, day after day, even though they know it's really not too good for them? You know the reason? The main reason is people do things like the ones I listed to get certain consequences. For example, what do you think the consequences are of the little kid going around hitting other little kids? Well, gee, the consequences are quite clear. The kid hits another little kid, and what does he get? He gets a toy. And if he does it right, he hits the other little kid, and the other little kid cries. As soon as he hits him, the consequence is written all over. You know, this is a pretty good lecture. Why do you think um, a smoker keeps on smoking pack after pack, cigarette after cigarette? What do you think? Television takes a good lecture and saves it for posterity. Television takes a bad lecture and saves it for posterity. Give, Give posterity, posterity a break. break. Show me, show me, show me, show me, show it to me close, show it to me good, make a little thing big, make a big thing bigger, let me get inside, let me see it, sticker, let me see it, sticker, let me see it, sticker, let me see it, see This condition is called nystagmus. The eye keeps moving rapidly, as you can see. One of the variables then in planning for traffic patterns is the time of day. Let's look at this intersection. It's 9.30 a.m., and it looks like everything's fine. No tie-ups, no conflicts. But if we look just 40 minutes later, at 10.10 10 a.m., the situation's a little different. A classic conflict of automobiles, bicycles, and pedestrians, as you can see. These pinpoints are only a fraction of an inch thick, and they move up and down very quickly, as you can see. Watch as I write the shorthand outline for the word ace, and notice we hear A-S, ace, A-S, A-S, ace, A-S, ace. Do. That's the low note. Now let's see what the high note looks like. Let's go in closer now, right inside the flower. Now we can locate the stamens and the pistil, as you can see. Now, if we look through our microscope and use this lower magnification, we can locate the organism. Then we can examine it better by going in closer and closer yet. As you can see. As you can see. As you can see. You see? I see. Show and tell. Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God was written by the Puritan Jonathan Edwards. Read it and write down your impressions of Jonathan Edwards and the general Puritan view of God. Then tomorrow we'll see a videotaped dramatization of Edwards' speech. This dramatization represents one particular way of interpreting the sermon. 
After we view the tape, you'll have a chance to compare it with your own interpretation. It should provoke some interesting discussion as you compare Edward's view of God with that of some more recent people you may know. It is nothing but the mere pleasure of God that keeps you at this moment from being swallowed up in eternal destruction. Words are made by fools like me, but only God can make a... Acer compestry. Only God can make an Acer compestry. Hey, what you doing, man? Oh, just watching TV, man. Watching TV? What are you watching, man? I don't know. It's a movie about Indians, but it's really boring. Hey, man, that's not a movie, man. That's a test pattern, man. Oh, far out. Hey, well, let me change it, man. Hey, there's a good war movie on Sikhs, man. All television is instructional. The question is, what is it teaching us? always stuck in the studio. Why can't I get out and do something different? Take me upstairs, back on the ground. Get the real picture, get the real sound. Winter and summer, spring and fall, Kelmo Zoo or down the hall. Make it night, then morning again. Change what happens, make the end begin. How'd they do that? Where'd they put the camera? Thank you. Thank you. Have no facts, don't know why. It, it makes, makes me happy or it makes me cry. No, no statistics can't conclude. Feel it in my bones and I know it's true. Affect is what makes me feel. In my gut, the stuff that's real. Son of a bitch. I feel like doing something really different.
ITV can be a lecture and showing and many locations telescoped in time and space. And ITV can also bring words to life and be magic and evoke feelings. ITV can be the difference, the difference in teaching and learning. ITV is an organization at Michigan State University that makes television that teaches. There, there are, are these and, and more that, that ITV can be. As you can see. This has been a production of ITV, Instructional Television Services, Michigan State University.